and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And yes, I've got a haircut. Just got all cut up. Taking a vacation today. Gonna be out of the state for about three to four days. Hopefully get back before I end up getting quarantined or something. So I will be gone for a few days, so I gotta get a haircut real quick. Freshen up a little bit before the trip. But guys, I will be going over the best players at each position in Madden right now. Golden tickets are coming, guys. So I'm gonna kind of give you guys a little of my thought process behind certain positions, who I'm waiting for in terms of golden tickets, and kind of what positions you might want to wait on or who you should buy now. But guys, before we get into the video, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any, if you have any, if you need any help, if you have any ideas, any players should have added. And make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on the notify bell, boys. Now, let's get into it. So starting at quarterback, here's the thing with quarterback. As of now, there are no confirmed golden ticket quarterbacks. There was almost going to be a Lamar. But with what it's looking like, guys, for quarterbacks right now, you got to go Mahomes and Lamar, obviously. Now, here's the thing. Mahomes will drop in value after Series 6, and so will Lamar. Now, Lamar is going to get... You're right, we're going to get a 98 power pass in Series 6, which is coming up, I believe, this Friday. No, the following Friday. And the 20th, I think that's what the date is. But we're we getting a power pass, which means you can all get Mahomes and Lamar for free, essentially. And Mahomes... We might be getting a 99, so you could also get him for free. So the quarterback's going to be a very easy position to fill starting after this series update. So I'm super excited for that. So quarterback's going to be sim super simple. We'll either one. Lamar is more of the athletic type. You guys, you know, the whole, when you feel like a run and gun kind of guy, like run, pass the ball real quick, go back to the run game. If you're a pass heavy, you know, cover three beater, cover two glitch kind of guy, then Mahomes your guy for that. Now running back, running back, no confirmed ones yet. We might be getting an Ezekiel Elliott. I, there was rumors about that. But for the time being, guys, Saquon Barkley, I think you can just set it and forget it with him right now until we get the next big running back. Saquon Barkley is a set it and forget it kind of guy. You can lock him in at the number one spot. Still going for quite a, you know, quite an expensive price. But still worth it because everything gets almost 99. Highly recommend you pick him up. Then going over to fullback. Fullback's very easy. It all comes down to preference here. My opinion, guys, my like my personal opinion, I wouldn't take any of these guys. I would power up the Christian Okoye fullback. Power him all the way up. He has a great lead block, great impact block, great run block, great speed. And then wait for his ultimate legend card because that's going to be better than Franco and all the other guys because those guys, like Kyle Juszczyk isn't as athletic, but he's good at blocking. And then Franco Harris is really good, really athletic, but then he's not that great at blocking. I'd recommend you just wait for the new Okoye. Now, wide receiver. We are more than likely going to be getting some wide receiver type golden ticket. As of now, again, it could be a Des Bryant. But for the time being, my wide receivers that I'm personally using, I think you want Calvin Johnson, Super Bowl Tyree Kill. Those are my two guys. The rest are interchangeable, but I'm going with them. I'm not really a fan of some of the other guys here. I think that Calvin Johnson, super solid choice. Right here, 96 overall. Super tall, kind of like a tight end. Gets all the thresholds. Highly recommend you pick him up. And then Tyree Kill, of course. You guys already know. He has 99 speed. Going to be great. Him, I like mi mixing up him, Calvin. I really like using my uh, my my base wide receiver that we get. The free one that we get to upgrade. I really like using him, in my opinion. I think he's super solid. Tory Holt. These are my three right here. These are who I recommend at wide receiver. It comes down to your scheme though. Now moving on to tight end. My personal opinion at tight end right now. I think I, I really like Tony Gonzalez still. Darren Waller is obviously a monster. But here's the thing with Darren Waller. His route running is pretty low. And that route running is what sets apart a lot of tight ends for me. So like Tony Gonzalez gets open because of his insane route running and ability to really just cut off any linebacker, any save, just cut on them, cut right off of them. You know, in my opinion, that's very useful. I'm just going to probably rock with Tony Gonzalez and wait for him to get an upgrade. And then I use Kittle. I would rather use Kittle as my second one. Kittle is like my run blocking, can get open kind of guy. And then I keep Tony Gonzalez there available as my actual main catching guy. But Tony Gonzalez will probably be getting an open legend in the near future, so you can wait on him. Guys, I'm not going to go over the linemen in, in reality. If you pass heavy, go with the pass heavy ones. If you run heavy, go with the run heavy ones. I'm going to fill my line out with almost all ultimate legends. It's very simple. Don't want to waste my time there because that's just a boring, just kind of a boring topic. Left end, coming on over to left. Okay, guys, right now, a lot of people like Julius Peppers. Here's my opinion here. Julius Peppers is probably the most athletic one, which apparently a lot of people prefer the athleticism on him because that 88 speed powered up and chemmed up really makes some moves. You can get his finesse move really all the way up there. He gets pretty good block shed, really great athleticism, and six foot seven. Gonna be one of the best pass rushers. Now, if you want the best bang for your buck, you can just go ahead and get Calais Campbell and power him up, and you will get his NFL honors card for free in the power up, as well as get him to like a 99 overall. Which then gets him to 99 block shed, close to 99 power move, 99 play rec. His athleticism is not going to be anywhere near Peppers, but pound for pound, he's going to be a lot better uh, as overall, all well-rounded. So it's really up to you guys in that aspect. 
Defensive, oh, right end, actually. Right end, in my opinion, you got to go with Aaron Donald. It's, it's a no-brainer. He blows away everyone. Compared to anyone, guys, powered up and chemmed up, my Aaron Donald has everything you want. He has the athleticism. He has the strength, the tackle, the play rec, the shedding, and the move. Like, he gets 99 power move and 99 block shed and close to 99 finesse move on my team chemmed up. With great athleticism, Aaron Donald's the best end in the game, in my opinion. Like, all well-rounded in general. Highly recommend you guys scoop him. Defensive tackle, I still think Warren Sapp is the best bang for your buck as well. Still pretty cheap. He comes with great athleticism. Matt powered up and Kemp gonna have 99 play record, have 99 block shed, 99 power move. So top, top rusher, top run stuffer, great athleticism, defensive tackle. Say no more. I think he's a solid bet all around. Now at right end, oh we did right end, sorry. Didn't mean to click that. Left outside linebacker. Now here's where I still have trouble. So in terms of pass rushing. In terms of just straight pass rushing, I think you want to be going with TJ Watt if you're just going to be a pass rushing kind of guy. Now, there has been some new ones that could be potentially better. Now, Kevin Green's amazing too. It really comes down to what you prefer. So, Kevin Green is kind of like, you know, he's a rusher. So, don't look at his speed in terms of what Madden is right now. In terms of rushing and like rushing the quarterback, going to get to 99 power move with 90 speed. Now, oh, 99 finesse move with 90 speed with decent blocks. You're not going to be the best in the run game. And then Watt, similar to him, is going to be better in the run game with similar rushing ability. So it's gonna come down to like kind of preference. You're gonna lose a little athleticism, get a little bit of better run stopping, while Kevin Green's gonna be close enough in my opinion. So it really comes down to who you prefer there. Me personally, I'm probably going with Green just for the combo of everything he's got in comparison to Watt. And I mean, they're on the same height, so it really doesn't matter. But he's a little bit more athletic, which you're gonna need at this point in the game. Now heading on over to middle linebacker. Middle linebacker is a tricky position right now. I'm personally, waiting for some of the newer cards to come out. So as you guys see down here, we do have the old legend Ray Lewis. Now Ray Lewis at this point in Madden, he's probably the best linebacker, but the speed's a little too low. I don't think I want him long-term because that speed's going to be greatly outshadowed very soon. It already is, but like it's going to get even worse. He's kind of the common, but the issue with Ray Lewis is you have to kind of user him because his, his zone's so low. But then at the same time, if you user him, you don't really get to take advantage of like his play rec and his block shit and all the other things he can do, you know, when you just leave him in the zone. I personally still love Shazier. I think it'd be better off powering up Patrick Willis, who's a very similar guy who's going to get to 80 zone on his own, which means you can kind of leave him alone, as well as he'll probably get an ultimate legend in the near future. And then he'll probably be even better. But I just don't think Ray Lewis is a significant upgrade over Willis, and Willis is definitely in line for an upgrade, while that very well could be Ray Lewis's last upgrade for the year. I run a linebacker. Guys, it's so simple. Go Lawrence Taylor. Now, if you, if you want a zone guy, you can go Fred Warner. It comes down to these two guys are here. So Lawrence is obviously the better choice, in my opinion, in terms of rushing. The block shed's better. The power move finesse will blow him away. And that's his old card. He's going to get a new ultimate legend soon. He's going to blow everyone out of the water for the most part. But Fred Warner, if you want to, if you want to like a zone type guy that can get picks for you, play a little bit of pass coverage, he's your guy. But I think as a rusher, personally, I'm going, I'm going Lawrence Taylor. Coming over to cornerback. Cornerback, I think I pretty much got my, my pretty much my set opinion for the year. So I think, number one, you want to get that new Nitrin lane, the new Deion Sanders. And now the third guy's work gets a little tricky. Now, Jalen Ramsey... Not going to lie, could be in contention for one of the best corners right now. Powered up, coming up, going to be 99 almost everything. Super solid. But end game, I want those I want those athletes. So what I'm looking for right now, I really love Champ Bailey. My end game corners are looking like this. What I kind of want here is going to be, I want Nitrain Lane on one side, covering their one. He Because he's just he's a rare combo of hip power, of press, of athleticism. He can take the ball back. I like I like cornerbacks who are athletic when they catch the ball too. Because that, that creates offense for you. So I want Dion. Night Train Lane and Champ Bailey when the new one comes out. For now, I'm rocking I'm rocking Denzel Ward with that speed, but I'm probably gonna end up putting him at the four and then moving Dion down to the three and then putting Night Train Lane and Champ as my one and two with that press, with the zone man strength. Gonna be super, super amazing. Really athletic duo. Or I should say trio. That's kind of what I'm looking at. Now, in terms of free safety, free safety, uh, a lot of you guys like Brian Dawkins, and I get that. I just think that Brian Dawkins might have gotten his last upgrade for the year, which is why I'm not so huge on him, because if that's his last upgrade, he's not exact. He's like too comparable to Sean Taylor. That's something you guys always want to remember. If a card hasn't gotten a card in a long time, and he's comparable to a new card, he's about to get a crazy card. So look, compared to Sean Taylor, compared to uh, Brian Dawkins, Sean Taylor's two inches taller. He's faster, has way more excel. Tackle similar, play rec less, pursuit less, man coverage same, zone very similar, hit power identical. And Sean Taylor's low overall. Sean Taylor's ultimate legend will probably be like a 98. He's going to blow him away in speed, blow him away in height, blow him away in tackle, probably the same play rec, probably the same pursuit, blow him away in man, blow him away in zone, and blow him away in hip power. Going to be way better. And he's, right now, he's a lower overall, probably a little cheaper. He was an LTD, though. But you can probably pick up his Redux, or you can just go ahead and use a power pass like I did. I really love my Sean Taylor. 
I'd rather have him over Dawkins just for the upgrade purposes. Because we have to be worried about upgrades still. You know, because this could be the last Brian Dawkins card. So we got to like play that. And now Troy Polamalu, strong safety for me. That's It's hands down. He is the best safety I think I've ever used in Madden. Best strong safety at least. His, car, his, his stats are insane. On my team with all my abilities and stuff and chems, he ends up getting close to about a 98 speed. No, I think he does get a 98 speed. 99 Excel just about. He gets 99 play rec. 98 zone. It's just unreal. He can play the zone like Ed Reed. He can hit like a truck. He's as fast as anyone on the field. He has Excel. Crazy pursuit. Height's not too great, but he can make plays. He's a ball hawk. I'm telling you guys, you put uh, universal coverage on him. This guy's all over the field. 81 catching. He can do it all. But guys, that pretty much wraps up today's video. And a kicker and punter. I know you guys still care about that. Uh, kicker, go with Zane Gonzalez. Punter is kind of irrelevant at this point. But punter, I mean, kicker, go with Zane Gonzalez. Great kick power. Not exactly too expensive. But that's about it for the video, guys. Make sure you give the video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Comment down below if you guys need any help with anything. I'm out. Peace.